What's up everybody, it's your boy Khan, back with another video. Been playing a lot of uh, shooter games lately on Switch. Not like Call of Duty first person shooter games, like arcade shooter games, Call of War Res, Deer Hunter, and most recently the House of the Dead remake. So I've been looking for ways to play more of an arcade style. So I've actually been looking for a, like a gun style controller. So here's what I found. But first, Subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell to get notifications whenever I post a new video. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitch. I stream every Sunday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I searched on Amazon and I found the Colossus Big Buck Hunter Arcade for the Switch. This has a slots in it where you can insert your Joy-Cons and it has a really cool grip so you can hold it like one of the classic arcade rifles. Scrolling down, I read the mixed reviews on it. Some saying it really enhances the shooting game and others saying that it wasn't worth the money. It was pretty cheap, so I thought I'd give it a try and get a second one if I liked it. The first game I tried the new arcade rifle with is the House of the Dead remake. using the arcade rifle made aiming and shooting much faster versus using the Joy-Cons by themselves. The only issue I had with it was that I would have to aim off screen because the target would drift sometimes on its own. The next game I use the rifle with is the Big Buck Hunter Arcade. Big Buck did not work as well with the rifle because the game was not compatible with the Joy-Con sensor control. So you had to use the toggle, which made it difficult to aim and shoot. Alright, so the next game I used this rifle with was Call of the Res Gunslinger. One of my favorite arcade shooting games. Medieval on your ass. Just like Big Buck, you still had to toggle the Joy-Con in order to aim, but having the realistic gun grip still made the game more fun to play. Okay, so the Amazon arcade rifle doesn't work the best with Bunk Hunter or Call of Juarez, but it's pretty darn good for something like House of the Dead, which has the sensory motion detector. All in all, for $20, it doesn't hurt to give it a try. I'd give the Amazon arcade rifle a solid three out of five. All right, y'all. Well, till next time, peace. What's up, everyone? This is your boy Khan here. Oh, he, oh, did I get it? Oh, no, he got it. He got it. He got the final smash. Go, 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 go. Ah, oh, shit. Let's go. That one was soaked.